Hi everyone, welcome to Two on Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to be making two birthday cards with this Way to Goat um, stamp set. It is in the annual catalog on page 64, the 21 to 22 annual catalog. And apparently it was in last year's also. And I've had it and I hadn't used it. So guess what? We're using it. Um, and I have two different cards for you. We're going to use this fella or lady or whatever on the first one. I'm calling him a fella. And this cutie patootie here. Um, I don't know if you saw that, that one. And this one on the second card. But they're going to be two different cards. So the first one is this. And I am recording on my phone. Um, testing it out to see how it goes. The problem I have so far is not enough storage so we'll see all right so let's make this card this is on blackberry bliss and cardstock which is not an in color it's um in the annual catalog it's in the regal family really i love this color as a neutral now i have used the i really love these dies the beautiful shapes dies and i've cut out the largest and the I think third largest in Blackberry Bliss. We're also going to be using these um, Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequins. Now this is Rich Razzleberry but I think it goes okay. An alternative would be to um, use your mm, Adhesive Back Rhinestones, your basic rhinestones and yeah, anyway, we need to cut this piece of paper. This is out of New Horizons. And I'll have links to all the products down below the video for you once I figure out how to do that. So I'm gonna cut this down to four by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Oh, I wanna cut it on the, on the sky side because there's more of it. And we'll use that piece on the inside of our card. But this piece I'll save and use for another card someday. Um, I've shown the New Horizons papers before. It's 6 by 6 paper, obviously. All kinds of pretty seen um, things. I may be using that again soon. Because the next paper pumpkin kit is supposed to coordinate with it. We're going to go ahead and glue this down. Because there's no um ribbon wrapping or anything like that on this card because this is kind of for a guy i have a for one of them i have a person in mind to get this okay now we just need some scrap white to stamp and die cut and color and we're gonna bring in our this for our sentiment our blackberry bliss ink um, but we're going to use Memento Tuxedo Black for the initial stamping of our goat. So, and we're going to color them with um, stamp and blend alcohol markers. Now, I don't know exactly what color goats are. They sort of look dirty white to me when I see them driving in the car or something, you know, somewhere. Um, I kind of want them to be centered, but he doesn't have to be way up. I want to get both pieces out of one sheet of white cardstock. All right, and now let's stamp our sentiment. And that is happy birthday, you old goat. That's kind of mean, right? <laughs> but if you're like with somebody that you kid around a lot, especially if they're a Capricorn, like the person I have in mind, I think it's perfect. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Now I might have to re-stamp that. I'm not sure because I might have got it too close to the edge. Let's go ahead and color our little goat here first. So we're going to use ivory for its horns. And the, on the first one, I um I used a combination of colors, but they're so small. I'm not going to do it again. And I'm going to use ivory for its legs here and hoofs or whatever they call sheep feet. What do they call sheep feet? Are they hooves like horses? I think probably. Now on the other one, 
I did use ivory for the face too, but I'm going to switch it up and use one of the new um, Stampin' Blends. It's, I think it's from the lights. It's SU900. It just has a little bit more of a pinkish tone to it than the ivory does. And I'm not going to really blend or anything. I'm, I might add a little pink to the cheeks. I don't know if this is supposed to be the old goat or if this is supposed to be the person giving it to the old goat. <laughs> Looks like an old goat to me. And then I used Smoky Slate Light and Dark, and we'll do that again. I'm making sure that's what these are. Actually, I'm just going to use Light, and I'll show you what we'll do, which I didn't do on the first card. But we're going to on this one because I did it on the second card I made, and I like how it looks. Um, so, yeah. So, easy coloring. I'm not an expert colorist. But I don't think you really have to be for cards. Unless you, you know, if you want to do a piece of artwork and send it as a card, that's okay. You can do that. I would love seeing those, actually. Most people I know that make cards don't do that. There are a few exceptions. <laughs> um, you know, there are some people that really make fabulous fun folds, and I'm not one of them. I'm a basic, I'm a basic kind of gal. I keep it simple for you guys. Once in a while, I, I do a shaker or a fun fold, but they're not hard fun folds by any stretch. All right, I am actually going to take the brush in with the light still and color that in. And you're like, well, why'd you do that? You'll see. I mean, I could leave it like that and then the sheep is all white, right? Dirty white. Been rolling in the fields there, sheepy. Getting all dirty. <laughs> but I always picture sheep as fluffy white. So, what we're going to do next is take the color lifter. And we're just going to go in a, in a few spots everywhere, but not around the edges, and lift some of that color. And it'll look like, in my opinion, it'll look like wool. And I'm even kind of going to go in little circular motions. I don't know if you can start to see it lifting. A little more up there. But it lightens it up. It's still dark. I mean, it's still gray, but smoky slate. But... It lightens it up, so it makes it look like the sheep's wool just got dirty or something, I think. Let me know what you think. Sometimes I'm a little weird in my opinions, but it makes it look fluffy. Okay, wipe your, your marker off. All right, now we're going to die cut it. Let me put these away. All right, and we're going to use the second to the biggest one of these, and these are out of the Beautiful Shapes dies, so we need that one, and we need, I think, this one. Yeah, and this one, and we want to go like that, and that. Okay. So, let me get a little tape here. Tape these down. Oh, now I didn't do this on the first card, but I'm going to on this one. Oops, that's not it. There's this little dirt looking thing. I'm just going to use gray granite. I did it on my second card and I like how it looked, so I'm going to try it on this one too. And I'm actually going to stamp off 
and go back behind the feet like and then we'll go a little not stamp off and come over and stamp off again not stamp off stamp off again just gives the the fella something to now not all that's going to show you know but some of it will okay let me wipe that off okay now let's die cut them it gives them something to stand on you know um so he's not hanging in midair <laughs> All right, let's get him centered here. Yeah, see, so it just grounds him a little bit. I like things to be grounded because I'm an earth sign too. I'm a Capricorn too. So maybe somebody will send me an old goat one. I don't know. I am an old goat. I don't think of myself that way most of the time. Although lately I've been feeling it more than I had been. Um, okay. I'm going to turn around real quick. I'm going to leave you going because I don't know yet how to, well, I do, but I don't like doing it, stopping and starting it for the video. So, yeah. My mentor may have to help me with that. Oh, and one other thing I have to ask her about that recommended, I'm using a software once I do the video called Power Director on my phone. Um, my only problem with using my phone is that I don't have much storage. So after every video, after I get it uploaded to YouTube, I have to go back and delete because I don't have enough room. But you know what? I discovered I can download my finalized video from YouTube to my laptop, and that's good. That way I have a record of it in case anything happens with YouTube or something. All right, so now let me bring our card base in. And let's glue these together and start putting this together. It's a very easy card to do, right? So far, so good. Well, at least I think so. I think that looks cool. It looks puppy like wool. Can you wear wool right next to your skin? I cannot. It makes me itch. I, I wear wool coats and stuff like that, or I used to. But, um... I can't wear like wool sweaters and stuff without having something underneath it because I just itch like crazy. I have very sensitive skin. I'm sensitive to um, uh, perfumes and stuff too. And my mother used to wear perfumes all the time. It's one thing I remember about her for sure. All right, we are gonna bump both of these up on dimensionals. Now, if you have, there's a retired striped blackberry bliss ribbon if you have that you could use that i have it but i'm not supposed to use it so and i actually had bought an extra roll before it retired because i liked it that much we don't often get blackberry bliss ribbon and sometimes they carry ribbons over but they didn't carry that one over and i sure wish they would have so anyway just my two cents. I want to put it down here towards the grassy area because we don't want them. I don't want them to be like standing in the meadow, you know? That's what I'm going for here. Now, I'm trying to put them at an angle, top and bottom, and one on the sides, each side. We don't need one in the middle on this small, um, what is it? Octagon, right? Or hexagon. Oh, I always get that mixed up six-sided thing all right I'm gonna lift this up and put it up here now there's one other thing that I need to know from you guys am I too close because honestly I don't know how I can fix that um, the way this setup is all right but I'll, I'll try if it's too close all right these are the artistic artistry blooms I think they're called I have one a uh, little one I'll put up here somewhere over here this time right here and then we'll put one more big one up on and then we'll put that over here maybe down a little bit closer to the, the old goat and then on the inside of the card as soon as I figure out what I did there it is um, we have that piece of paper 
that I've lost. <laughs> okay, well, somewhere we have a piece of paper, but first we're gonna stamp. You're the goat, G-O-A-T, greatest of all time, and we are going to use Blackberry Bliss for that. And then I'll look for the paper piece that I have lost. It's weird, I just had it. Oh, here it is. Because it flipped over and I was, couldn't see the, I also only saw green. <laughs> I'm just laying that on there to see about where I have to stamp. And I'm gonna stand up. And so, if they were upset by the front of the card, maybe they'll feel better now being told that they're the greatest of all time. I have to be careful saying that to the person I was thinking about sending this card to. <laughs> anyway. Oh, you could use the green part and put it at the bottom. That's the reverse side of the paper. But I'm going to put the purple part up here. Because I just like it better. And, oops, don't do, do that. And then we'll just glue that in. And that's card one. And then we'll get started right away on card two. As soon as I clean that stamp off a little bit. All right. There we go. Oh, no, there's one more step. Mm, a little bit of twine. This is linen thread, actually. So it's very thin. Doesn't bulk up your card much at all and we're just going to tie a little bit more a little a little bow because i thought it was kind of natural looking too and make it smaller and then just take your thumbnail or scissors and straighten out the ends a little bit and I'm gonna snip it down just a little bit there. Ooh, I'm so sorry. I have to figure out a way to not do that because the camera is now right in front of me whereas it used to be on the opposite side of the desk when it was my webcam. Now, I always take my finger and just roll that a little bit for things that are thin like this. And we're just gonna put that right up here just off the just off the, um, whatever that is, hexagon, octagon, you know, that thing. And there, now that's our card. Sorry, thought I was done before, but I wasn't. Linen thread, that's in the annual catalog. It's been there forever, see, 2018 to 19. Um, I think the number's still the same, but don't hold me to that, 104199. It'll be linked down below. All right, next card. We're going to go female-ish or flowery-ish. Um, I just found my take a pick tool thing cap. There we go. We're using mint macaron and we're using the hand pen petals paper, which is in the annual catalog, soon to retire as of May 2nd. So if you love this paper, get it now. This was my last sheet of this pattern. In fact, um, we have to do the front just slightly different because of that. Because I only had this and then some littler pieces that I was able to cut a strip off for the inside of the card. Um, so what we're going to do, instead of putting the ribbon across here, we are going to put the ribbon down here. And that, that will add texture. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to get my seal. And I'm just going to put a strip. You can use seal plus if you want. I'm going to put a strip all the way down. Actually, may, let me go over just a little bit. I don't know if I'll get it straight. But you want to get it sort of straight. Somewhat straight. <laughs> um, there. And then... This is the velvet, uh, soft velvet ribbon, half inch in mint macaron. And we're going to go top to bottom. If I didn't get enough at um, one of the edges, we can put a stick of glue dot under there 
to help hold it. And then we're just gonna cut this off here. Sorry. And here. I'm gonna open it up to do that. And use your ribbon scissors only, not your paper. Oops, just cut the back of the card a little bit. So that's why. Okay, well now I cut a little bit of paper, which I didn't want to do, but it's not terribly damaging. Okay, and now we will put that away. <clears throat> Get it off my desk. Okay, now we're gonna put this paper, oh, that was the wrong pin, um, here and glue this down. So I think that puts a nice border on and let's go ahead and glue that down. Then we have to stamp our goat and our sentiment. So I'm bringing in, there's no dies that go with this stamp set. I got that kind of close to the edge. And the ribbon's a tad crooked, but I really want the paper on straight. Okay. Maybe I can, you can pick it up and adjust slightly. Yes, you can. Okay. All right, there we go. So there's something you learned. You can pick it up and adjust slightly. All right, let's move that over here and get our memento again and our big goat stamp. The lady, I think she's the lady, but she's eating the flowers. That's why I used flowered paper. I just thought it was, ooh, I'm sorry. This thing bounces more than I'm used to. And we're gonna put her here. I might have to use a different scrap to stamp our sentiment on. I think this one will work here. Okay, let me clean these two stamps real quick. And um, the sentiment we're going to stamp is... Nope, that's not... <laughs> I got you a cake, and we're going to stamp that in Fresh Freesia. Because we're gonna make it a little flag, and I already cut a flag out in Mint Macaron. And this, the dies we're using are from the Tasteful, uh, where do I have it? Here it is. Tasteful textile, no, tasteful labels dies. Tasteful labels dies. They are number 152886 in the annual catalog on page 179. They do go with something, tasteful textures or something like that. I forget. I'm going to leave this ink out for now. Now, I need those dies actually. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is what we need for this one. You know what? I'm going to turn this over and restamp it because I got it too far down the page. Let me leave that there. And we're going to use this big one out of the same die set for the goat, but we need to color her first. But let me restamp the sentiment and then we'll die cut them at the same time. By the way, speaking of die cutting, the small machine is on sale. For $48 normally um, it's 60 so you know it's $12 savings only good through March 31st so don't miss out on that uh, that would be the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine I'm gonna go ahead and tape this on and we want it kind of up towards the top all right so that'll be ready Let's move these out of the way, too. Um, all right, so let's color our little goat. We're going to use ivory again for the horns and the or antlers or whatever they're called and the feet. And you can use two colors on them if you want. I always thought sheep had their, um, and goats had their fur go down their 
legs, but what do I know? <laughs> I don't know, except in, the, I guess in the zoo is a, in the children's area, they usually have like petting areas. Now we're going to use light balmy blue. And we're going to do just what I did on the last one. We're going to go around the edges first, and then we're going to color, actually color it in with the brush. And then we're going to use the color lifter. Yeah, I've never seen a blue goat, but you know, it matches the paper better. Um, the paper has misty, oops, don't do the face. The face, I want to use that new um, skin tone marker again. I'm just going around the edges and the tail. See, she's got long, long hair like a, like a lady or some men too. Some men look fabulous in long hair. My son is not one of them. So fortunately he's been keeping it shorter lately most mostly all right um before i color that in just so i don't forget again let me bring in the not ivory the su 900 and i'm gonna color her face and i got a little blue there but it's okay it'll just look like she has a little uh, mole or something <laughs> Like I have all over my face. Not my face, my body. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm going to take a little bit of Flirty Flamingo too. Just give her some cheeks and some lips. You know, because she's a girl. Gotta have her lips done. Maybe. I should have some on mine. Nobody sees me though. All right, now I'll take the brush end of the balmy blue. Let's finish coloring her in. So I started to say, I think that it's misty moonlight in the paper, but the misty moonlight seemed too dark to me to use for the, the goat. So I want to call her sheep all the time. Um, so I went with balmy blue. And it'll be just fine. And I'm not worried about coloring it perfectly because we're going to take some of that color off anyway. Which seems like a waste, but it gives me a nice texture that I like. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to use the brush end of the color lifter. Which you can buy from the annual catalog also. Just usually when I use it, I... I uh, wipe it on a piece of paper real quick at the beginning first because sometimes mine is really juicy, especially on the nib end, um, and you don't want it flowing out into a puddle, which I've had it do once in a while. So just dab it off to make sure you're not going to have a problem. Also, when we're done here, we're going to wipe it off again to make sure we don't have blue on the tip. Because the next time I use it, I don't want to get blue on my pink or something, you know? There. I'm going to wipe it off over here on a scrap. Now, I have to die cut these. Um, 28 minutes, yikes. Oh, we forgot to do the, the dirt thing again. Let's do the dirt. Gray granite. <laughs> What's the dirt? The scoop. What's the scoop? With the dirt. I'm going to start light behind her. Okay. Go over here and do a little darker. And over here and do a little darker. Maybe one down here. I don't know where it'll. And then I'm just going to stamp off all around. It doesn't really show on her feet. You can do it first. But I think that looks pretty pretty cool. All right, that's gray granite. You could use crumb cake too, or whatever you want, really. 
All right, no, sorry for reaching. Um, okay, so now, yeah, that makes it look better. We're gonna do this. And I'm gonna put another one on over here. And I'm gonna take these and die cut them and I'll be right back. I just have to turn around. I'm right back here, as most of you know. And I'll run them both through at the same time. Sometimes when I do these on video, I uh, pre-